Well, how are we doing out there? I hope you're all absolutely spot on and thank you very much for watching this video. Now I've been shopping. I've been to Tesco's. Come and have a look what I've got. So this is a recommendation. Um, a lovely picture was sent to me saying, try this. So I have. Um, it's a ham hock in mustard sauce with mash and peas. Classic kitchen. Pulled ham hock in creamy whole grain mustard sauce with buttery mash. And it's a 450 gram um, box. Look at that lovely serving suggestion, look. A little traffic light system as well there, look. Uh, 2.8 grams of um, salt, it's quite high, isn't it? Um, so, sell by dates out as well, all you eagle eyes out there, but I'm not worrying about that. And it was two pounds and seventy-five pence, or if you buy three packs, you get it for six fifty on a multi-card saving. So let's have a look at the box. So there is the nutritional information. If you want to pause that, um, by all means, go ahead. Maybe a few people on diets. Um, three hundred ninety-four calories per pack. Um, and they are the ingredients there. Look, if you want to have a look at all them. Um, there's a few allergens in there. We've got milk, milk, uh, mustard and wheat. There they all are, look. So it's got pulled ham in mustard sauce with mashed potato and peas at the top. And you've got 450 grams, which I said before. And they are the ways to cook the heating instructions. I'm going to microwave it. Um, um, it's chilled 800, 900 watts. Three minutes or two minutes, 30. Well, mine's 800, so it's three minutes. Stand for one minute, peel back lid, stir and recover and heat for a further. Chilled, two minutes, 30. So altogether, mine will be three, five and a half minutes. So you've got to pierce the film lid several times. So let's get it open. And have a look, see what we have got. So there it is, look, this is that. Let me get a bit of better light for you. Have a look at that. Ham hock in, must, in mustard sauce, whole grain mustard sauce with peas and buttery mash. <laughs> oh, what a treat I'm having. Oh, <laughs> oh I'm going to have to get a new, uh, treat myself to a new selfie stick. So yeah, so I got an, I had an M and S yesterday, didn't I? And that was buttery mash, and that was lovely. I think I scored that nine out of ten. So I, yeah, I can't wait to get into this. Like I say, it was a recommendation as well. There, and I also have just um, I got a delivery as well. I've got a new quiz book, and I got a lovely letter as well coming with it. And well, it's a little note, and it's off Eric and Stacy. So thank you very much, Eric and Stacy. I really do appreciate that. I'm not going to show you the book, but it's a new quiz book. It's a big book as well. So the next time I go live, not this Friday, but the Friday after, we'll, we'll get stuck right into that. So let's uh, let's pierce this film lid and let's get it in the microwave. So it's done. Smelling, it didn't have smell good. Just reading them. I've just had a look at some information while it was uh, warming up. Uh, and it says here, made using British pork. So that's always a good thing, isn't it? And also it's pulled ham, um, 18%, a little percentage. And I did read a little bit on the side as well. It says, our team of chefs carefully prepare all our meals with ingredients you find in your own kitchen. These comforting British classics are warming, uh, satisfying and full of great flavour. So that's that. So if this is your sort of video, please give it a thumbs up and if you've not subscribed, well maybe consider subscribing to the channel. Let me know what you think of these as well, if you've had them before. I know you've got to, judging by the smell, you've got to, you've got to like mustard. If you don't like mustard, you ain't going to like this dish, judging on the smell alone. <laughs> and also as well, what I've, got, I've got two plates out, here we are, look, this is the meal, look. Um, so I had to basically, it, the seal te um, test passed as well, by the way. Halfway through, I had to give it a stir, which has made all the mash and the peas all mixed together, which is quite annoying, but that's just one of those things. 
Um, and also as well, I've, I've noticed a serving suggestion on the front. Look at the size of the fork and look at the size of the the little um, the dish it's in. Well, it's pretty much similar to this. This one here, look. If you look at that. So look at the size of that. And now look at the size of a normal plates, look. <laughs> that's like planet Earth and that's like the sun. <laughs> and it is 450 grams, so... There's no way it's going on there to fill that plate. I'm going to put it on the big one up there, look. So let's get it out on this. I mean, there's no way you'd eat it off like um, some of that size, is there? Let's be honest, a meal. So it's going on a normal size plate. So the mash is all mixed together with the peas, unfortunately. Um, but it's still, it's still looking in buttery. I'm going to use this to get this off, look. Spatula. So I'll use a spatula, don't use a fork because you leave food in the tray as well. Nothing gets left behind. Nothing of a significance. Um, so that's what you're left with there, look. It does look a bit buttery, I'll be honest. So let's get this sauce to the side. You can all mix it together, can't you, be honest. If you want. Um, well, I won't say what this sauce reminds you of. Because you're probably all going... You're probably all saying that now. <laughs> So let's just scrape that off. Put that to one side. So I'll put that down there. So there we are, look at that. <laughs> Let me get a bit of better light for you and have a look at that. On these huge sunlight plates. There's your ham hock look, have a look. It's important, isn't it? Because you'll be buying this stuff and, and, and eating it. There's your mash and your peas. So I'm gonna I'm gonna get into this now. So I've got a spoon and I've got a fork. I'm gonna I'm gonna use a spoon for this. So I'm gonna try this now. See what this is like. You can see the whole grains in the in the in the the, the sauce, the ham hock, creamy whole grain mustard. Mmm. Oh, that is lovely. I do like that. It's not overpowering with the the mustard. It's creamy and it's salty. It's quite nice. I like it. It doesn't need any salt, I'll be honest. Um, it's not a bad amount of um, ham hock in there. I know it's all fallen apart, but it's not too bad, is it, really? There it is, another bit there, look. Look at that bit there. Mmm. Mmm. Let's try the creamy mash. There's the mash look. It is buttery mash. I'll, I'll go as far as say it is nowhere near as buttery and as tasty as the mashed potato that I got in the meal yesterday from M&S. That was really, really tasty. This is okay. I'm not getting much butter through, it is creamy. So let's mix it together. There's a lot of peas in there as well, isn't there? We've got we've had no escape peas today, so that's good. <laughs> so let's try it all together, look. Goes a lot on there, isn't there? <laughs> all the peas are clagging together. They're all, they're all ganging up. Look, look, there's one there trying to escape, look. Is it, is it going? Is it going? No, it's stuck. Stuck that one. Mm. Yes, it's nice. It's nice. I mean, it does need a bit of pepper though, I'll be fair. I'm going to mix it all in now. I mean, I would have preferred it if them peas hadn't have mixed all together with the mash, but I mean, they were in the same side of the container as the mash, so it's inevitable, isn't it? You know, I know some people like to keep things separate, but at the end of the day, it's all going down your grid, isn't it? Let's be honest, it all looks the same in your belly, and it all looks the same inside. You know, there's no air as great as here, let's be honest. <laughs> you know, that's just the way it goes. Where it is with me. Mm. 
it's all right. It is. I don't say it. It does need a bit more salt. Now I've mixed it all together and tried it, and it and it needs some white pepper. So what? That's what I'm going to do. So a bit of salt and a bit of white pepper. Now let's try it. I mean, that's that's your meal. Look, look at the size of the plate. You could add to it, can't you, in bits and bobs, but. Mmm. Mmm. Go, cool, that's transformed it. That's livened it up. Just a little bit more salt. I do like my salt, but in moderation. <laughs> and that white pepper has just lifted it. It's just took it to the next level. Um, ham hock in mustard sauce. Would I buy it again? I would buy it again. It's nice. It's, it's okay. It's not, it's nowhere near, I don't think it's nowhere near as good as the M&S one he had yesterday, but that wasn't a mock, but it was another in the same range of 450 grams, but it was £3.50, it was a really good one. 275, it's, it's, it's all right, like. All it needs is a bit of salt and pepper. For, for me, you might be different. Um, it's an AR10, and I would buy it again. So thanks very much for watching, if you got this far, Doff me cap to you. So take care, all the best, and I'll catch you on the next one.